Good morning, middle school. Let's start week two, and our uh, art lesson for today for eighth grade is something I call photo finishers. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a piece of paper, you're going to need some kind of glue. I like glue sticks because the magazine paper that we're going to use next is very thin, and then you need a magazine. I don't know about you, but I get all kinds of crazy magazines at my house. Just stuff I never even thought I needed. Now until I get a magazine, then I decide I need stuff. But anyhow, take one of those old magazines and we're gonna start cutting it up. Let's go down to the board and you can see exactly what we're going to work on today. Okay, here, let me show you an example first. So what we have here is we have a picture that was cut out of a magazine. You see on the left side, we have the magazine page and then you see on the right side where Brooke has filled in and tried to um, repeat or replicate the picture. She did exactly what the picture was going to do. So it's a front half of a cardinal. She decided to change it into the back half of a cardinal. Another uh, student work is this one. This was a little tree with a bluebird sitting on the top. And again, this student, Devin, has decided that he was going to make it exactly like the photo originally. You do not need to do exactly what you saw in the photo. If you have a picture of a deer and you decide that you must draw the other half of the deer, that's fine, not a problem. But it's a good idea to start thinking about making something different. It's creative. Maybe you want to make the back half of this deer a car. Or maybe you want to make the back half of your picture a robot or anything like that. Start thinking out of the box a little bit. But before you think too far out of the box, I want you to think back in the box. So if we decide this is the picture that I'm going to use, I'm going to take my piece of paper and I'm actually going to draw a box. So I will continue the line of this picture to form a larger box and that will give me uh, some place to draw my picture. That means I don't have to fill in the entire piece of paper. Now for those of you who remember, I am not necessarily anti-ruler, but I don't use a ruler often. I tend to just draw things freehand. If this is bothering you a lot, you want to try and get a ruler and draw a straight line, you don't necessarily even need a ruler. You could use the edge of a book or you could use uh, your math textbook or whatever you have to draw your straight line. Straight lines don't bother me. I'm fine if they're not straight. When it comes to gluing, if you have on hand liquid glue, that works just fine. Liquid glue will make the newspaper or magazine page kind of wrinkle up as it's drying, which is not a big deal, but if you don't like the lumps and you're particular about that, then you can take a, a glue stick. This is a perfect application for a glue stick because a glue stick is not very sturdy. It doesn't usually glue a lot of things in place, but it will definitely make a tiny little shred of newspaper or magazine stick to your piece of paper. So there, we got a little bit of glue on here, and I'm going to attach it. I am actually going to change this a little bit. No, I think it's fine. We're just going to glue it exactly how I drew it. So if you are at home and you don't know what to start drawing with, may I suggest, as usual, that you always start with a pencil and once you've got your design set and you like it, you are free to then outline it in a marker if you wish. You can start to coloring if you'd like. We can color with any kind of materials that you have. I'm going to put you on time lapse for the next part so that you can see the final, final project. You don't have to sit here and watch me draw the whole thing in real time. So as you can see here, I drew the top half of the deer and included the rest of the antlers. And then I added the bottom half as a robot. So please let your creativity shine on this. You can be as silly as you like, make it school appropriate, of course. And I can't wait to see what things you come up with when you're done. Thanks. Bye. Don't forget that after you finish a project, you need to take a photo of it and send it to me in the Google Classroom. If you don't know how to do that, there are instructions in Google Classroom showing you how to attach a picture. All right, we can't see, can't wait to see what you make. See ya.